trash, trash, trash. Yo, Shea Moisture is cancelled. Cancelled. I'm done. I'm done. Bye. Psych. I love Shea Moisture. Nah, I can never give Shea Moisture up. So let's get into a Shea Moisture wash day. So I'm starting off with the dry, dirty hair. And as y'all know, my hair was blonde now. I start off with some oil. This is something new I've been doing. I just start off my deep conditioning with some castor oil. And I coat my hair evenly with the oil. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite Shea Moisture Deep Conditioner, at least for right now, and it's the JBCO Grow and Strengthen Mask. It has great slip, great moisture protein balance. It's one of my favorite deep conditioners of all time, and definitely my favorite from Shea Moisture. I just try to get it all over my hair. My hair is super dry, so this conditioner is definitely going to help me out. Now I'm going to go under a heated cap and I will leave the information down below to the one I use. Now it's time to rinse out the deep conditioner. I have a video on why I deep condition on dry hair. It's really old but I will link it in the cards. Then I'm going to go in with my co-wash. This Shea Moisture co-wash is actually a new favorite of mine but it has great slip. Great moisture, it smells amazing, keeps my hair soft, keeps my hair defined, really, really super duper good. Shea Moisture definitely won with this one and it is definitely an underrated Shea Moisture product. Now I'm just going to go in and rinse the co-wash out and look at my curls up. Pop, 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 pop in. <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with the JBCO conditioner. This product has good slip, it has good moisture. It is definitely one of the best Shea Moisture conditioners. Look how my fingers are just gliding through my hair, even though my hair was super tangled in the beginning. Now I'm just rinsing my hair of the conditioner and just look how defined my hair is I'm going to braid my hair up and then I'm going to move on to the styling process so this is just a few minutes later after I dry off and everything my hair is still kind of damp I'm going to go back in with some castor oil once more make sure I get it on my scalp get it all throughout my hair definitely on my edges that are always on a struggle bus and make sure I get my ends for sure with the castor oil. Then I'm going in with a new favorite and it's the Shea Moisture Detangler. It's not that great for detangling honestly, but when it comes to moisture, it's so good, especially in the summer because it's full of glycerin. So it's gonna keep your hair super moisturized. Love, love, love this product. Then I go in with a oldie but goodie, my favorite Shea Moisture product, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie, which gives me moisture for about a week. So when I use this product, my hair just stays completely moisturized and it has good slip under gel, under another styler. It's just an amazing, amazing product across the board. I'm using the Curl Defining Smoothie by the Sasha Inchi line and it is good but it's very much a light hold i know shea moisture has a new max hold gel that i haven't been able to get my hands on but this product just gives you a nice soft hold i prefer fluffy hair because my hair is super thick so i like the results that i get with this product and i'm definitely going to pick it up again i actually ran out of this product after this video so yeah I'm just going through again and I'm actually doing a three strand twist out. I'm only doing eight twists because I want my hair to be big and fluffy and definition is not really the goal when it comes to my natural hairstyling routine. And this is what my chunky twists look like. I actually kept them in for four days under a wig and now I'm taking them down. The take down is really easy because I mean it's only eight twists. Now come on. 
and I'm not taking my time to take it down because I don't mind Frizz. Frizz gives me the volume I otherwise would not have. And these are my results, y'all. Look at this twist out. It's nice, it's big, it's fluffy, and this is the type of style I personally go for. If you want something more defined, I would definitely layer the product with gel. But that's it. Let me know if you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to y'all later.